So we're back. Uh, this is Shillelagh part two. So let's start by looking at some Shillelagh fighting. Another form of fighting shillelagh you can make that you may have seen one or two examples in there are boffer shillelaghs. So this is just a, a sports chambara boffer which I have done up with a big foam ball on the end in order to make something approaching a shillelagh. So that's just to make that bit soft. Um, now you may think this is a bit silly uh, but one of the ways which shillelaghs were used much more often than in single combat was of course in faction fights where huge crowds of people would get together and smack each other over the head with sticks and throw stones and do other crazy things. Now we were curious as to 
what it would be like to be in a faction fight. So last year at a sort of uh, away event, we did it. Um, and in authentic Irish style, the idea is if you get smacked on the head, uh, you would go to the back where there'd be a tent set up where they would stitch your scalp up, give you a shot of whiskey and then send you back into the battle. Uh, so the rules for our faction fight was that if you got hit, you were dead, you went to the back, you took a shot of something and then you went back in and this continued until we ran out of alcohol. Um, and for these sorts of really important living history experiments, the Botha Shillelagh is an ideal weapon. Um, and if you think that we wussed out by using the Bothas, let me tell you, they did the job just fine. So having done my faction fight, uh, my personal conclusion is that they were really just a, a really rough drinking game. Um, like when I got smacked in the eye, that was painful and unpleasant, up until the point I went to the back, got my next squig of whiskey, and then I was right as rain and raring to go. So you can see how that sort of combination of recreational violence, getting smacked about, getting drunk, getting back in there, getting a bit of revenge, could become really, really addictive. Um, so that was a, an important insight into why this bizarre phenomenon of faction fighting existed and lasted so long. And that's, that's my theory. Um, that's pretty well everything I've got to say about shillelaghs for now. I know it's been a bit of an epic video, but I hope you found it informative. Um, and I will see you next time. Soldier as a sentry he did stand He saluted a fair maiden by a wave of his hand And then he boldly kissed her and he passed it up as a joke He drilled her up in a sentry box and up in a soldier's cloak And the drums are going a rock and the boys too loud to play Where me there, I must be gone away All night they tossed the tumble till the morning did appear The soldier rose, but on his clothes he said, where are my dear? And the drums are loud to and the voice is sweet to play The wound for that Holy me there with you on the bloody snipe And the drums are going around And the voice they love
I'll reply Fare thee well, holy dear, I must be gone away If anyone comes to court you, you can take them to a place If anyone comes to court you, you can say your country lies You don't have to tell them that you ever played this joke That you got drawn out of century, I'll see them the soldiers go And the drums are going, I reckon I'm talking a voice to loud in play Fare thee well, holy dear, I must be gone away are allowed in the army, but what's too many for me? And the drums I go and I rock and I rock and I bust the loud and play. Where do you all? Holly, we dare, I must be gone away. How come me a gentleman soldier? Why didn't you tell me so? The parents will be angry when this day comes to know. And when I'm on the way and gone, the poor girl, she was shame. She had a little militia boy and she didn't know his life. And the drums I go and I rock and I bust the loud and play. Where do you all? Holly, we dare, I must be gone away. And the drums are going around